Ladies and gentlemen, Rude TV is proud to present T Real and CC Sins. In the show that proves that black and white isn't always black and white. Yo, what's going on? Welcome is officially that time and that place. You are watching Colorblind on Root TV. It is 10 o'clock if you are on the West Coast and 1 o'clock if you are on the East Coast. So thank you for giving me your evening. Hope you are having as much fun as I am. And welcome back because it's been an amazing, amazing, amazing week. If you watched the show last week, I had the beautiful Misty Stone from Not to Cosby's Triple X, who was a co-host yet last week. See, I can't even speak English now. And the beautiful penthouse pet superstar Tori Black was on last week, who was beautiful and lucky enough to win the Fame Awards Best New Starter. So shout out to Tori. Congratulations for you, and thank you for being a guest on the show. I hope you all enjoy watching last week's show. If you didn't, watch in the archives. This is there as always. So it's been an amazing week because if you've been paying attention, L.A. Erotica was last weekend along with the Fame Awards, and this was my birthday week. So I want to thank all the people who send me shout-outs on MySpace and the Twitters and the Facebooks and all that shit. Don't ask me how old I am because it's none of your fucking business, but I love you all. So keep that in mind. I'm also recovering from a little bit of a cold because I party too motherfucking hard. I mean, I you know how I get down. I was at how many? Where where is it? Get the camera straight. Where the fuck am I at? I'm like leaning on, lean with it, rock with it over here. I party too motherfucking hard the last couple of days. I think I was in the club. I literally left the club. Saturday night at 1 o'clock and walked into another club and then didn't leave there till 9 o'clock in the morning. So it was a beautiful, beautiful week for me, full of bitches and craziness and fun. And I hope you all enjoyed it. So in spite of all the all the, the, the craziness and the fun that's been going on, I got to take a moment for something very serious and something that's very important. And you know, this, I, I hate to start the show off like this, but this is a serious problem that I've been having, and I need to address it. There's a T-Real imposter <clears throat> that has been going around calling agencies, pretending to be me or a representative of my company. And I am, no, I am not, 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 not happy about this, but I received words from several agencies saying, yo, T, this guy's calling you up saying he is you, so I'm going to sell this motherfucker. And look here, asshole, at 818-908-5820. You are not me, so... Feel free to call this fucker up once again at 818-908-5820 and let him know he is not T-Real and do not impersonate me or anybody else in regards to trying to find people to work for him doing porn. I'm a professional with a reputation that I've spent a long time building up to a position, and I'm not going to let anybody, especially you, fucker, to ruin that. So there you go. So win the show. Win the, uh, the, the down part of the show with that. So other than that, it's going to be a great show. I'm very excited. Great. Do we have any pictures we can bring up from um, the uh, Fame Awards or LA Erotica? You can find any of those photos online. Let's see a couple of those. And and we'll get into one, because I did promise you all I would get into one viewer question when you were asking me about um, the stuff on, on MySpace. I got a lot of emails on MySpace, and people always send me questions, and I always say, okay, I'm going to answer a couple of questions on the show and then get on with the rest of the show. And usually I do two or three. So I'll start this week's show off answering one question. And then we'll get into some of the the, the, demotiv the Friday demotivational pictures, which has been the ongoing thing, and we'll run from there. So let me find this week's question. This week's question comes from Samantha, Sam, Samuel Pond. Samuel Pond from somewhere, Oregon? Oregon? He meant, he meant Oregon. But he wrote it as in it was like organ, like an actual organ, like penis organ. Uh, Dear T, I have been watching several porno scenes, and I have noticed that when guys are doing DPs, sometimes their balls touch each other. Is that gay? And how do you guys go about doing that without it being uncomfortable for you both? Can you answer this question, please? Thank you. All right. Well, um... I can say I'm not a big fan of DPs. I hate performing them. And when I do perform DPs, I usually perform with guys that I'm comfortable with. They're very heterosexual men. They understand that this is a job, and this is part of the job. And we're being paid highly for that job because of the risk and the time and 
the uncomfortableness that can come out, out because of it. So, um, yes, usually because I when I have to do DPs, they're with guys like Shawn Michaels or Tyler Knight and guys that I know are nowhere near having any type of <laughs> sexual uh, endo towards myself, which is important. So that's the best way to kind of go about doing it. You try to position yourself where if you have to do a double penetration with a guy, for all of those who are watching the show don't know what a DP is, is when a woman is being um, fucked in the ass and the pussy at the same time. So obviously the dicks can be kind of close to each other and it can be kind of uncomfortable, especially if you're doing it with a guy and the guy is staring into your eyes as opposed to the girl's eyes. Fortunately, that's not happened to me. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm... I have no problem with, you know, uh, the homosexual community, and I have a couple gay friends and all that. I just per- prefer women, love women. I like lesbian women, probably, every now and then, depending on. Last night, was a lot of lesbians that were with me, so last night as well, so that's how it goes. So that's the one question for the day. So that's pretty much how it goes and runs into. So on to last week. Once again, I said last week was the um, L.A. Erotica Convention. Do we have any pictures we can show from the L.A. Erotica com- Convention? Anything coming up? That's me. I was at the booth signing autographs and hanging out with me looking cool and happy. The lovely Nikki Benz, if you've seen Nikki Benz before, she was in Get Real. There's Jack Lawrence and Michelle Melly, an AVN reporter, hanging out. And no idea who these two people are, but they were having a great time and full of porn. Puma. You all know Puma. And Rebecca. Hanging out, getting porn, getting groped. My wonderful, happy black man and Stormy Flame hanging out. Oh, and the river, there's, wow, that was in the middle there, the blonde. We have not seen her in quite some time. There you go, there's Rebecca. And let me see, who is that? I don't know who that beautiful girl is. Man, how I miss that pretty black girl? Shit. I have to find her someplace and have some hot naked sex with her. Da-da-da. Lexi, who's on firstandracial.com right now, go check her out, licking my ass and licking my balls. Good old Nikki Hunter, who's looking amazing as always. We enjoy having wonderful sex with Nikki Hunter. Kitten, who's got an amazing tattoo, and I got a story about Kitten and her tattoo that I can tell you all later. So there you go. And Amy Emerson, who was actually signing at my booth as well, beautiful redhead girl who gives amazing deep throat, and was a guest on the show. So if you go into the uh, archives, you can check out Amy um, hanging out and being nasty. Anita Blue as well, saying fuck the world. She's also on treal.com, so definitely check her out. Another happy patron, I'm assuming. Um, Pinky, who apparently has gained a little bit of weight, but is still beautiful and still pink. So there you go. And Cytheria, who apparently was in the house, but I missed. And I'm heartbroken that I missed her because I miss Cytheria tremendously. Sweetheart, if you were out there, please, please find me. Yep, there she is again. And Serena Marcus. And Eva. Miss Eva Angelina. There we go. Flex. There you go. There he is from there. All right. Tegan, we'll wrap it up from there. Let's get into some of the motivational stuff because people have been asking me about that. So. I had to go. F- I had to go from picture to picture about shit. So we'll, um, you know, we'll keep we'll we'll keep those up. We'll come. We'll bring those in after the break. How about that? How about that? No, you know, yeah, cause we're gonna. Br- yeah, nah, we'll bring them now. We'll bring them now. Fuck it. No. So we're going to this week's top five demotivational pictures. Starting with this one. Ass to mouth. You're doing it wrong. Number two. Attitude. A smile and a positive attitude makes every job easier. Number three, change. Look at this. Pay very close attention to this. Like wrapping a Ferrari around a tree. So sad. So sad. Dream girl. Check out the flexibility on that chick. Just kidding. There is no candy. But that's how you get them in to, from the club. That's how I am. I just like to just grab them and throw them in the trunk. Say, come on, bitch. Hop in the whip call it a day and that's how we roll so that's, there you go this week's five demotivational pictures we'll be back keep a lot root tv i'll be back have some fun get naked
Yo, welcome back. You're watching Colorblind on TV, the world famous T Real. Thank you for giving me a Friday night, and we're going to finish on and continue with the show with my guest for the evening. This girl is an amazing, beautiful girl, a newcomer in the business, who is a star of such websites as Blacks on Blondes and Glory Holes, and is a star of Barely Legals, number 95, if I'm correct. So please take your hand off your keyboard and your other keyboard and get a round of applause for Miss Terrilyn Fox in the motherfucking house. Yeah. Come on over, girl. Come on over here. First of all, just stand up and do a twirl for us. We can just see everything and then some and how you do it. Damn, you got a fat ass. Oh, yeah, snatches. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck yeah. Thank the Lord. Love it. Have a seat, sweetheart. What's up? We can't hear you. Hello. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, love? Good Hi. to see you. Again. Thanks for coming on the show. You're welcome. Hanging out. Yeah. So I've been hearing about you. Ooh. Man. Good things? I get great things. Okay, good. My fans are like, yo, T, we just saw this girl on this site. Have you fucked her? How do you know about <laughs> her? Then I'm like, who? Tara Lynn Fox. Tara, I'm like, your name stood out because you got three names. And right. most girls don't have three names. Mm -mm. So I'm like, Tara, I'm like, Tara Lynn, Lynn Fox, who? Da -da -da. So I found you. My assistant, Erica, was like, yo, check the girl out. And we tracked you down and dragged you here. Kicking and screaming in a pretty dress. Practically. Great. That's how it works. <laughs> so give me the five-minute history. How'd you get in the business? All that shit. Were you working at Walmart? It was like, fuck all this bag and yeah, shit. Yeah, you know, actually, um, I was graduating high school, and I actually applied at Walmart, and get, they didn't hire me. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Walmart, you're fucking up again. See, if she was there, I would go to Walmart. But ain't no bad bitches right. at Walmart. I ain't seen her. <laughs> no, um, really, I graduated high school, oh. and... Mm -hmm. Didn't want to go to college. Oh, fuck and, it. Fuck it. I um, went to college. Yeah. What I got? Four years of fucking. There you go. There you go. Good sex? Bad sex? N not that good, actually. Yeah. Not that good at all. Yeah. Not that good at all. I got some of the, I got some of the worst head in college. <sighs> yeah, we'll get it all. Not good. Yeah, it was all right, though. Got a degree? Yeah. Yeah. Got yeah. something to fall back on? Free sex. Yeah, mm -hmm. free sex. Mm -hmm. You know? Anyways, mm -hmm. um, and I pretty much worked at like a restaurant and a grocery store, and I didn't like it. And um, fuck all that. I found out about webcam modeling, mm -hmm. and so well, no, you got to go through like the specifics. Like you were online and saw an ad, or was like, you know, <laughs> fuck this. Like I, that's what we want to know. How do girls actually get into the business? Um, <clears throat> I know you say fuck this regular job shit. It's time to make some money with these. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I um. I actually met a girl that was into like a whole bunch of bad stuff, oh. and um, she brought up webcam modeling. She was into bad stuff. Yeah, bad stuff. Like shoplifting and. No, like naughty things, like anything naughty to get money. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but, anyways, and she told me about webcam modeling, so I went and looked <clears> up <throat> for um, some different companies, okay. and I found one of the bigger ones. And just um, set up with them, and it's not that hard. You get a camera, and you sit on your bed and masturbate. Really? Yeah. And that pays? Oh, it pays a lot. I got to fucking start doing some webcam shit. If I can just sit on your ass and rub my balls. Yeah. It doesn't work that way for guys. Yeah, yeah, if you're a guy, you got to, like, play the whole gay role. And Fuck that. Well, there's yeah, not really no. girls that pay to see you mm. jack off. All that I would. Can I just get three girls that are paid, like, $100 each? That'd mm -hmm. be cool. Yeah, there you go. That'd be slick. No, you make way more than that webcam modeling. But um, yeah, anyways, yeah. I um explored a lot and with a bunch of different toys. Explored and, um, a lot. Like she was out there <laughs> hunting and shit. It's about a bitch. I explored a lot. We were camping. No, I explored <laughs> myself. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> with the toys. Mm -hmm. and um. So did you not know your body before then? Well, here's the thing. I didn't really, like, I tried anal, like, my freshman year in high school and hated it and never, ever let anyone oh, touch my body again. Oh, how did that happen? Ooh, that was bad. What did so he do? He was just like, take my it. Boy, like, my ah! boyfriend and I um, were really drunk, and Can't I was freshman, it. he was sophomore, mm -hmm. and um, we were like, let's try something new, you know? Mm -hmm. And So, so the jello like, wasn't working. It was just like booty time. Man, booty time. Booty time. And um, we were drunk, you know? Oh, it always happens in, in high, You were drunk in high school. Oh. Drunk in high school and tried anal. Okay, when your boyfriend is a football bad? player mm. and they oh. win, it's you, you gotta get drunk. No. Oh, hey. well, I wish. You wish. You wish. Oh no, you don't. Because if it was the first anal with a black dude in high school. Oh yeah, then never mind. Ooh, I don't. Shit. <laughs> I would know you right now. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Shout out to the homie who did the first anal though. Good looking for opening up the waters. Thank you. Right on. Anyways, it was because of him that I turned into a horse. So I mean, I guess you all can think. What's of. his first name? 
Adam. Shout out to Adam. You got a care package coming on Tuesday. Look out for that. It's going to be uh, M&M's and Snickers and shit. Up. Go ahead. I hope you're not watching this. Anyways. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, we, didn't, we didn't really know what Lou was back then. Yeah. So <laughs> They don't tell you that shit. Like, they don't. They don't. They that, don't. I, that's I, bad. Out of all the shit I learned in high school, double blowjobs and fisting and shit, nobody talked about lube. Whoa, double nobody fisting? was like, you should try this lube, my man. It was magnum condoms and fucking <laughs> orgies at the fucking slumber party shit. I'm like, lube? Like, I, man, I remember one time, one time, <laughs> there was this freaky girl that everybody knew was the freaky girl, and she was letting this dude fuck her in the ass, and it was like they were in the kitchen. And she grabbed some olive oil and was like, pow, oh, he was all gosh. in that shit. I'm like, wow. So Ooh. that's my story. Continue. Yeah. Anyways, he's sucking in without any lube, obviously. Yeah. It didn't feel too good. And it was in the um, so I like was like, get the fuck out of my ass now. Yeah, <laughs> and that was pretty much the end of that. Yeah. That's um, right. yeah. With the dick sucking, when you start blowing gas. Young. Yeah. Oh, young. you said young. Young. Like, like I started young. Oh. Uh. Because, like, where I'm from, that's just normal for kids. Where are you from? I'm from the Bay Area. No, dick sucking Bay Area. Like, it's Shut just, up. Where are you from? It's just like, here's your bus pass. Start sucking penis. <laughs> 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 Have a day at school. No, I'm serious. Kids grow up right, way Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. Like, I, I grew up just as, that, just as, like, the blowjob stuff was, like, becoming cool. Like, that was, like, like it was nothing. Like, yeah, right. we held hands. I gave him a blowjob. I'm like, cool. Yeah. I was happy. Like. When I, when I got to junior high, I was like, oh, y'all sucking dick now? Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't feel so bad about <laughs> selling Spanish. Shit. <laughs> like, if I get a blowjob, man, I'll fuck it. Oh, you're crazy. Mm. Um, yeah, I was, I was really young. I don't remember how young, but I was right. too young to say nah, without, don't. like. <laughs> yeah, and all you nasty pedophile motherfuckers. I mean, to get into that. <laughs> but you suck dick now, which is very important. I do. I like it. Because there's an epidemic going on around girls who are, like, 18 who don't give a head. I'm like, how do you grow up in this Post Monica Lewinsky, fucking American, right? and not giving no head. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's weird. Yeah, I, I like kicked it. the bitch out of my car when she told me that. Yeah. Yeah, I was on a date. And give me we, some head. We got no. I didn't say give me some head. She was. <laughs> we were. We. I, we were. We were done eating dinner, and uh-huh. we were going to the movies. And she's like, I'm gonna stop by my house and do this. We were having a sex talk. She's like, I'm gonna go grab my other jacket because you know it's cold in the theater and shit. I'm like, all right, cool. So we driving and shit, and we got to her house and part of the conversation we talking about head. She's like, yeah, I don't give head. So she got out to get her jacket. I pulled the fuck off. I'm like, all right, bitch, peace out. Oh my god! <laughs> like, don't give head. I ain't no. Sh- I ain't trying to negotiate shit with you and fucking. Hey, well, at least like maybe like, she didn't try to give you head and didn't know what she was doing. Like, oh, well, that's it. the thing. You you learn fucking with me. I don't do that. I don't know how to suck dick shit. I, I'm like, nah, uh-uh, sweetheart. Oh. First things first, we're gonna open up your mouth completely, and then we work from there. I yeah. teach you the whole technique. It'd be out. Cause you got two hands and a mouth. There's a lot that needs to be going oh, on. Yes. If you don't know and what the fuck like you're doing, and there's like a twisting thing too. I got a class a every Tuesday thing. and Thursday at nine o'clock, and you'll learn how to suck some penis. Yeah, but I might be able to teach you something. No, we will have to see. Shit. All right. So with that being said, anyways, got into the business, <laughs> started having sex. How was your first scene? Um, my first scene was crazy. Mm. It was an anal scene. Ah, oh, damn! They right off the bat. They right like, off the bat. Welcome to porn. Put in your pooper. There you right. Go. And it was with someone that I thought was probably the biggest guy in porn until I actually oh, shot yeah. some more girls, scenes. I love girls that yeah, I work the biggest guy in porn. They'd be like, some dude is like. Right. Work like two more weeks, and then mm-hmm. you'll probably find someone bigger. So who, every day. who was it? Um, it was Mike Adriano, mm-hmm. and he, I guess, is doing some stuff for his own personal sites now. Mm-hmm. But um, he's a really nice guy, and it went great. Well, there you go. Shout out to Mike. Thanks for doing a good job, so you scared. So. Also, though, about mm-hmm. that scene, it's not out yet mm-hmm. because the site's not up yet. Okay. So when it does come out, that is actually my very first That's your scene. First my scene. first anal scene, the too. First, first black scene was So what? don't believe those people that say it was my first anal scene because no. it wasn't. Mm. Not to name any names. <laughs> so, first black dude. Let's be honest. I know you walk down the street and brothers be like, hey, yo, hey, girl, let me holler at you. Girl, let me take you on a trip to Paris. Like, motherfucker, you can't get to fucking Crenshaw and back without your car <laughs> stopping. You talking about taking a bitch to Paris. Fuck out of here. You're crazy. So, first black guy in my life or on camera? Well, shit, both. Fuck it. Um, gosh, my first black guy on camera, I mean, on, in my real life, um, I don't know. There's been so many. Well, there you go. I can't remember. The, you, don't remember the, you don't remember the first motherfucker? I'm always the first. The, I'm always the first black dude. They'd be like, I remember. I met a girl a month ago who was like, 
I fucked you when I was 17. <gasps> oh, you know what? At that party. I'm like, who were you? Continue. I think, actually, the first guy that, that, that was black mm-hmm. that I had sex with was um this kid that I grew up with. I don't remember. And it was Somebody kinda, like knew. Someone yeah. I knew. Yeah. I think so. Because I don't, like, I don't remember. Mm. You know, there you go. I'm colorblind. Uh, so am I. <laughs> I, that's my I am. Mind. That's why I don't give weird. a fuck what color you are. As long as you fine. That's yeah. the that's the one. You have to be attractive. If you ain't right, I can't fuck with you. Simple as that. So first industry dude. Um, first industry dude. I want to say. Or how's the industry dude been good? Has has it been to you? I want to say Tyler Knight, but I'm not mm. sure. Tyler's but, um, a good guy. I like I like Tyler. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah. I like him. And, he, and he's a great performer. In addition to being oh, a great guy, yeah, he's a great performer. he was. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you shot. I didn't want to stop. You were shooting with um for I know for a fact with the glory hose and the black on blonde. Right. So how were those scenes for you? Um, <laughs> they were great. Mm. I was I went home like exhausted. Yeah, as you should. Like I not only had fun, but it was so amazing. Like. Mm. Um, not many people have been able to make me come. And even in the industry, like, mm-hmm. it's still hard on camera for some guys to make me come because mm-hmm. you got to be into girl. it. Yeah. yeah. But um, I think in both of those scenes, I actually did. But it's good for you. See, so you can go to watch the scenes. You know, she's actually coming. Yeah. So I'm not with you. Like, I, I can pop, but I can't come. Right. Like, I'm, there There's a go. difference. Anyway, it's my like, check. Right. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm, I've had some scenes, you're just like, hey, that's what you get for <laughs> fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I'm out this bitch. Sleep. Mm. They had to wake me up 20 minutes later. Like, here's your check. I'm like, yeah. yeah well. <laughs> that shit in my shoe, motherfucker. But hey, that's how it goes. Yep. So yeah, that's great. Well, I'm, I hope we had the pleasure of having sex because I've heard mag- magnificent things about you. And I love your shoes. We always do the shoe shot. Check out the shoes, motherfuckers. Yeah. Won't those look? <laughs> won't those shoes look amazing wrapped around your neck, guys? Just up in the air. Oh yeah. Oh wait, are we going up the leg? Are we going up the <laughs> leg? Are we sitting? Are we looking at the? Are you shaved? Is that what the hell's going on here? Yeah, I am shaved. Let's see it, baby girl. No, no, you talking about vagina? You know your legs are shaved. You're not a werewolf. Where's the pussy at? Oh shit, bitches. Nice. Oh yeah. Hey guys, I'm going on a strike. Nice little landing strip, so we don't forget where it is. Yeah. Cause you know, it'd be like sometimes you you in the club. And you fill into the stomach, and you get to the hair, and you're like, oh, there it is. Now this is the spot. <laughs> That's what it's for. That's why the girls have it like that. That's what you were so saying So once in the dark, night. you can just feel, and like, Ooh. <laughs> shit. I, I know that truck. And you, brothers, you know that trick. You be like, yeah, in the club, put your arm around, and you be like, oh, that's the, that's the that's it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yeah. Like, that's the song. Like, uh, the song been over 20 minutes ago, and you still in the same fucking motion. Like, yeah. Give me a drink. <laughs> that's why we love going. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. So what's the craziest the thing you've done on set? Um, the craziest thing I did on set. Someone just asked me this today, mm-hmm. um, and I don't. I didn't want to ever admit it, but um, girls do do naughty things like off camera yeah. on set. What? Get out! <laughs> they just do crazy <laughs> shit off camera. I thought y'all baked cookies and shit like that. Shut up. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyways, I was really, I was really attracted to this director, mm-hmm. and him and I were like flirting all day long, mm-hmm. and um. You know, you got to do business first before you can have your show. So um, the male talent was awesome. And we got like almost done with our scene and we took a cut to get some water or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, we were joking around about anal. Mm -hmm. And I think it was an anal scene, actually. And we were joking Mm -hmm. about doing DP. And I was like, I've never done DP in real life. I've only done it with toys. And I was so fucking hot and horny. Mm-hmm. Cause like we ha- we cut right before I was about to come, so I was mad. I was like, I gotta get I fired. fucking hate that. I hate that. I fucking hate that. Oh, I'm about to come and they cut. I'm like, oh, no, mm-hmm. keep going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, anyway, so I was like, stick it in. And he didn't think I was mm-hmm. serious. And I was like, stick it in. I want both of you guys. And so we ended up doing a DP on off camera. Nice. It was hot. Uh, well, it was go. crazy. It's crazy like that. But it was hot. But it was fun. It was the funnest thing ever. That's what I'm talking about. Shit. I had to talk about DP because I heard you talking about it earlier. Yeah, DPs are cool for the you know and the girls into and shit. I just I'm a me motherfucker. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, look, I want as many as y'all and as less of them as possible. And there's no reason for not one of y'all to be doing something. Yeah. Lick my balls, lick my ass, put a team in my mouth, Honestly, sit on my dick, yeah. do something. Somebody needs to be working. Yeah. If, I don't care if you're just on the other side of the couch with pom poms, like keep fucking, keep fucking, keep fucking, be doing something. 
That's what that's what I'm talking about. You are officially in the cheerleader position. And on that note, we're gonna take a break. So keep watching. I'm with the lovely Tara Lynn Fox. We're gonna get into more crazy stories and debauchery and craziness on Root TV, Colorblind. Keep it live. Welcome back to Colorblind on Root TV, world famous TV. Thank you for giving me your Friday evening. You're watching Colorblind, and I'm with the lovely Tara Lynn Fox as my guest for the evening with the beautiful tits. Oh, hi. You missed it during the break. <laughs> we were talking about Obama fixing the health care uh, crisis, which is great. No, we weren't. Shout Don't out let Obama. Lie. It's awesome. And because of the health care crisis, we know that her tits are big enough to save people's lives because they're like flotation devices. Yeah. I love your boobs. Thank you for being beautiful. Thank you. No, no, thank you. It. it was great. I, I love your boobs. It was great. <laughs> I, I try to be great, you know? That's what we do here. We try to make people happy. Make I, people's dreams come true. Yeah. You know? I, yeah. I try to make people happy every day. So I heard a little rumor. <laughs> Correct me if, if, if I'm wrong about this or not. All right. But you like girls. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is up with that? What do you mean what's up with that? You like girls. I love girls. Love girls. <sighs> I saw you and a girl last night. All over each other. All over each she, other. She was she was eating her pussy. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Um, I don't remember her name. Me neither. Shout but, out to the girl who was eating pussy last night. Um, she's a really hot Latina girl and she's in the industry too. I know that. Mm. Um, With the fattest ass. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. Oh, people were just coming over and taking mm. pictures of it. Yeah, she had a big old booty. They're like, let me just see the ass. That's all I want. Find out who you are, sweetheart. We gonna hunt you down and bring you here. Yeah, well, I'm gonna hunt her down and. Right Bring her house. back. You come with her. Can I lick her pussy on camera? You can do that and then some. I would not Ooh. stop you. I think if they took a vote right now, all signs would vote to yes, you can lick her pussy. All right. And the one vote, if it was like, <laughs> you know, four out of five people say that you can lick the pussy, that one person probably gets his ass whooped. Or he was probably couldn't raise his hand to vote because he was jacking off. You are jacking off? He's, he was a two-hander. I'm not big on jacking off. I am. I'm great. I'm. I wish I was. I wish I masturbated more often. I'm just a fucker. I bet you so white right now. You're welcome. <laughs> I try to be. I try to be sexy. What can I do? No, I was thinking about that girl. There you go. Well, she was. I'm sure she was. She tasted good too. Really? Oh, you yeah. had her pussy as well. Yeah, you didn't see that. I was no. <gasps> I missed all of that. See, you came in after I already ate her because I ate her out first. No. What happened was I was on the table. See what happened was. Okay, see everyone that missed out. There was a big industry, not really big. <laughs> Right. Oh it was a small party that there, there every was week. <laughs> they was like, "Come on down, come to the party." I'm like, all right. I co-hosted it. Co-host. <laughs> <laughs> Big emphasis on the hosted. <laughs> right. Anyways, um, and I was dancing on a, the one of the little tables, mm -hmm. and then I got down and I saw mm -hmm. her, and I was like, "Hmm." Mm -hmm. So I was drunk and I crawled on these leather seats mm -hmm. all the way around to her. And then she was wearing a dress like mine and no mm. undies. So I did that. And then I just, like, licked her. Have you ever done something like that before in public? No. You like, you like public stuff? I love public stuff. Um, now I do. Love it. Last night was all about public, like. I got two fantasies, oh. public stuff and outfits. I'm all about that. Yeah? Fuck yeah. There you go. Dress up like fucking anything other than what you are. I'm great. Happy. There you go. There you go. Wonderful. And let's see it. Let's see the. Microphone and the boobies. Fuck yeah. So much easier. It is so much easier. All right. Does that bug anyone? Can you Not hear it like that, gentlemen? I, I guess so. There you go. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah. Last night was awesome. Last with night the whole was public awesome. humiliation, there you go. not really humiliation yeah. thing. It's just doing it in front of people. Well, see, my thing is like the whole reason why I'm in porn is because I want to like be known for being like the biggest whore or like. A really big slut or like the dirtiest girl in porn because really? i'm not going to name any names but i'm sure a lot of people saw it there was a um and i'm not dissing this girl either i think she's awesome and hot mm -hmm. there's an article in rolling stones that said dirtiest girl in porn and i have to totally disagree with it because i watch a Who lot of porn girl? you can say it <sighs> the hot sasha gray 
I'm sorry. Yes. She's hot. Sasha, no. Sasha I, was a dirty girl. She, okay, she's dirty, but I don't think she's the dirtiest. She, well, I, well, first of all, it's Rolling Stone. It's not like they're a porno magazine. They're right. trying to sell fucking things. Right. But I will say to Sasha's credit, you, you, you're one of the, like, the post-Sasha Gray seers. You're right. seeing her now. When Sasha, her first year in the business, she was doing, like, there was nobody else doing stuff like her that looked like her. And that's the thing. There has to be a balance. You can be a dirty bitch and be ugly as shit. Nobody gives a fuck. Right. But you can be pretty and do some crazy shit. Motherfuckers will fucking leave their wives and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I just saw that bitch take a baseball bat, three black di- guys, a midget, blow, do a blow bang, and and I want more. Now. So yeah, but Sasha did some crazy right. shit. Right, I'm not dissing her at all. And I, I shot like some her. scenes with Sasha. I mean, Sasha asked me personally to be in her gangbang, and I was like, all right, cool. I'm here for you. I like you. You cool people, and motherfuckers know I hate gangbangs. Right. But I fuck with you because you my peoples. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Sasha Gray. She she did her she did her work. I get credit what credit is due. Yeah, I give so. her credit 100. percent But um, I just don't, you know. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Shout out to Sasha though. But, I'd still like the fuck out of her pussy. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm sure she would enjoy that and would allow and would re- return the favor. Like I am a fan of hers. I'm not she gonna likes, lie. She I feel bad it. now. You made me feel bad. Like I no, don't feel shit. bad at all. But I'm a fan of hers. I watched that movie um, that came out, whatever it was called. The Girlfriend Experience. Yeah. Did you go to the theater and watch it? No, I bought it at home well, on Comcast go. for ten bucks. Shout out. There you go, Sasha. Sasha. Just for you. Shout out for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sasha's a sweet girl. No, she's hot. And you're a sweet girl. You're Thank awesome. you. So what do you want to do now since you want to be the dirtiest girl? Um, um, you know, I honestly am going to be kind of selfish and not give a lot up to companies because I plan on getting my website up here in a few months. Smart girl. Um, and I also plan on having like probably one of the best websites out there. Nice. Um, and I want it to be like 99.9% exclusive. Cool. Um, and I also want like my fans to be able to tell me what they want and I'll do it. Mm-hmm. But um, I plan on doing a lot of my big stuff there because cool. I pretty much do everything now except like gangbangs and mm. double anything so you'll be like you know some some really cool boy girl stuff some really cool right. dress up some, yeah. some public stuff or some, some public, public stuff, stuff well. yeah no one's let me um, do any public stuff yet I've like wanted to walk outside that's with cum that, on my well, face the, and no one will let that's me that's the thing it's kind of hard to do that in <laughs> LA like they, yeah. it's really hard. People to just like, got arrested it's, for it's flashing. Not, yeah, it's not like people don't want to do public shit. Trust me, they do, but it's just hard. You just gotta do it at the right <laughs> time in the right place. Yeah, you gotta roll with me. I got, I know some place you can do a lot of public shit at. Really? Yeah. So, but, uh, like in your car? Some shit. No, I'm talking about like at the Lakers game. Ooh. Place, like, yeah, I, I, I like that. I See, I would get off on that in like I a minute. I get crazy. Like I, psh, I won't. I can't even tell you some shit because I get arrested. They use this as fucking evidence against me. Like that was you, motherfucker. <laughs> we were looking for you for two years. <laughs> you sent my child to fucking therapy, motherfucker. You're so crazy. where can people find you at? Where's your MySpace, which Twitter at? Which um, is right now the only pages I have up um are MySpace um slash Tara Lynn Fox, mm-hmm. and then Twitter, same thing, Tara Lynn Fox okay. or at Tara Lynn Fox. Tar- Tweet me. Tweeter. <laughs> To all your tweeting friends, talk to them about what you're doing, how you do it. And you're like, hey, yeah. I'm on set, I'm doing this, I'm kicking it. By the way, anyone that ever responds to those fake websites out there of me with the fake emails, that's mm-hmm. not me, so sorry if I don't respond. I respond to my MySpace and my there Twitter. You go. So you can always find her at MySpace or Twitter, yeah. not the other ones. Because I'm the same way. If you go, there are like two or three T-reels and yeah. shit. It's like, no, that's that's not me. Yeah. So Someone my, uh, messaged me on MySpace like, yesterday and said that it took them like a month to find me because they've been going through all these different fake email addresses and fake sites Damn. crazy yeah, already fucking sucks Boo. i'm just a porn girl just a porn girl <laughs> all right folks well that pretty much wraps up the show hope you enjoyed as much as i have give a hug and kiss miss tarlin fox i'm the world famous t-real you can check me out same place same spot all the time right here forward slash myspace t-real t-real.com have a good weekend. Be good. Be safe. Catch us here next time. Same place. Same time. Hugs, kisses, best wishes. We are out. Reminding fans that the shows get better with alcohol. Boo TV.